Hey, what's going on, everybody? Melomatic here, and I'm back with some scum, picking up right where we left off. Uh, this is episode two. You can go back and check out uh, episode one if you want. If not, that's fine, too. You can jump in right now. We haven't really done too much. We've just been uh, kind of scavenging around this first little village we found. But uh, quick shout-out to the BOP, who uh, kind of opened my eyes to some of the things I got wrong about this game. So he, uh, he mentioned some of the other ways that you can eat... What is that noise? I almost th I thought like a normal person was like yelling, but uh, yeah, there's plenty of ways to eat. Uh, if you if you're just running through, you can um, find. I think the zombie respawned, huh? Yeah, you can uh, you can find like berries and stuff, olives when you're running in random like trees and branches. Yeah, you can find more to eat. That's my problem right now. I have zero energy because of uh, my calorie consumption. So I'm, I'm burning a lot, uh, a lot more calories than I'm actually taking in. That's why my energy is at zero. So I'm going to be wor working really hard to try to get that back up, finding as much food as I can. Now, I will be looking for, like, fields to find corn uh, as well as the... Uh, what are those damn bugs called that are, like, in logs? I can't freaking... I'm spacing out. But you know what I'm talking about. The, the grubs? Is that what they are? Like, grub worms or whatever? You can find those for protein in, uh, like, logs falling over trees. Oh, shit. There's a dude right there. Where'd you come from? I'm gonna use my. That, oh my god. Get off. What? Are, how are you jumping like that? What is happening right now? Oh, dude. I might die right now. Oh, this is so weird. And... Okay. Oh my god, dude. They... Get the spear out. Get a little more range. I'm really bad at the uh, combat in this. The melee is kind of weird. Oh no. The melee is weird. Like, I, I can't get used to it. It probably depends on, like, the kind of weapon you're using. There we go. Okay, I got her. I'm out of stamina completely, almost. Um, wow, she surprised me. I did not know she was in there. I heard her, but did not know she was in the little garage right there. But, yeah, I need to really focus on finding more food. So, like, obviously you can find, I think, like, canned foods and sodas and whatnot when you're scavenging, like, actual POIs and stuff and, like, like actual places. But my main priority right now, aside from finding food, getting my nutrition back up, is finding a vehicle. So I might not show everything in the entire process, but I really want to find a vehicle, and I, I need to figure out where to look. Because once we get a vehicle, that's going to that's gonna make everything a lot easier and smoother, and I can loot a lot more efficiently because I'll have way more space to store stuff. And not only that, but I want to... Uh, I want to be able to drive uh, to the airdrops whenever they come in, because that's more than likely how I'm going to be able to get a gun. I don't know. Gun and ammo usually come in them, I think. Uncraft this. I need to find clean cloth, like clean rags, to actually be able to bandage up, which I only have one. So I'll have to use that one right now. But yeah, I'm just going to probably cut out a lot of the walking, because it's going to be probably a ton of walking until I do find a vehicle. And after that, I think uh, we'll kind of drive around, maybe explore some more of the POIs and... Eventually, I still want to, uh, I still want to build a base. I still want to explore that a little bit in this game. That's like, like usually my my favorite part about uh, a lot of these games, is the base building. So that's what I want to kind of dive into. But I want to make sure I build it in a place that makes sense. You know what I mean? And all these rags are dirty, but I'm gonna go ahead and craft one of these little uh, bundle of rags anyways, just to take them with me. I don't know for sure if you can wash them. I would assume you could. Maybe if you find a bottle of water. But uh, I'm still pretty new to this game, so I'm not 100% sure. And I kind of alternate between first and third person because there's certain things that are uh, in, in third person that are a little easier and make a little more sense. Oh, no, look. Here's a nice winter hat right here and a metal scrap. So I'm, I'm, very, I'm really limited on, like, space right now. That's why I wouldn't want to really find a freaking vehicle because you can store a ton. Of, there's so much storage space. Really need food. I haven't found any food in any of these buildings, but whatever. What are you going to do? Let's see what we look like right now. Oh, yeah. We look insane for sure, but that's okay. Nobody around to really judge us except for... Uh, oh, actually, that's another thing, too. Um, apparently, they're not technically zombies. They're actually puppets because those little things on the back of their head, uh, as well as on the back of our head when we don't have the hat on, you see, like... A little device that lights up it's actually um basically like a, they're they're puppets of oh look 
puppets of the like corporation that's running this basically like TV show, like TV survival show that we're on right now. So we're kind of like a contestant, I guess. And that's also what that little, uh, oh look, carrot. That's also what that little uh, robot drone thing that flies over us, uh, over us every once in a while, that's what that is, is a camera, I assume. So I'm gonna check all this stuff. Oh, an apple, or what is that? It's a tomato. We're gonna go ahead and eat everything we find right now just to try to get our calories back up. So obviously the more you move and the more uh, like you sprint and stuff, the more calories you burn. Oh, look at this pickaxe. Nice. That might actually do some damage too. Uh, I don't think anything is in the hay besides feathers usually, but I'm gonna check it anyways, just in case, you never know. Oh, look, we found some corn. We're just gonna eat it raw like that. All right, I think something's up here. Die. Die. Oh my god, I can't swing down. Wow, I thought this pickaxe would have done way more damage. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's... Oh my god, there's another one! No. Run away. No! I'm stuck. Dude, how many are on me? Oh my god. Hit him! Oh my god, dude. If I'm about to die, guys, I'm dead. Wow. All right, here we are. I had to. I had no fame points. I actually have negative fame points now, which I don't necessarily know what that means, but it's some kind of currency. I know whenever you die, it uh, you have to pay those fame, fame points uh, whenever you pick where you want to respawn. So it's like random, or if you have a base, or in the little uh, like section of the map you were in, I guess. So now I have nothing, and I'm cold. I. Of course, <laughs> I freaking spawned like in a snowy, m dude. Come on now. Okay, we need to uh, we need to go ahead and craft some stuff, so we have something, you know. Oh, a snowball. At least we could stay hydrated then. Uh, I'm gonna start off with the axe. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna do all this crap again, and then I'm gonna try to find the nearest like settlement, and go from there. So, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be a car. That'd be amazing. All right, so here's a log, and here's the uh, larva. That's what I was thinking about. Okay. I said grub worms. It's larva. Same shit, I guess. I don't know. But you can eat these for protein. I'm still uh, intaking about half the calories I'm actually using, so I'm going to have to uh, pretty much eat everything I can, really try to find carbs, which is going to be probably a challenge. I might try to find nails really quickly and build that club, the, uh, the nail nail ended club that you can craft. I want to see if that's actually a better melee weapon because for some reason you swing the spear like a bat, which is annoying, and uh, you swing it really slow. Like, it just, it has some range, which is nice, but it's just, you swing it so slow and apparently the damage, at least for the, the improvised wooden spear is very low. So maybe a, a, cl a wood club with some nails in it will will do better, so I'll have to craft probably some planks for that, but that'll be okay. It's pretty easy, especially once you get, like, a stone axe or something. Uh, how am I doing on my protein now? So I'm only at, like, 16%. It should slowly go up a little bit. Uh, there's, there's probably plenty of fallen logs uh, here, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. What's in these? Uh, just larva in the stumps, too. All right, let me find a bush that I can cut down. Maybe search for some uh, berries or olives. Oh, I see a zombie already. Just leave me alone. There we go. Now we can craft this tree bark rope here. I kind of like it in third person. I might stay in third just because you can kind of keep an eye on things. Now the only thing I don't know is like the combat. I think it might kind of be the same. It's hard to really judge your distance and the amount of time it takes you to swing in first person on this game. It's a little weird. 
you can tell it's kind of more optimized to be a third person. Because I think that's how they initially uh, started this game. Oh, a fire drill. We could actually build a fire, maybe. At some point. I don't know. I still... I don't really want to settle down too much anywhere because... Because I want to make sure I'm in a good location. Kind of a, a, kind of a central location where... Uh, I'm close enough to like a big enough place or a few big enough places like POIs that I can consistently loot. Cuz I mean, I'm not going to like just loot everything at a big city like all at once, you know. All right, let me make sure I have all my stuff now. I think I have to Let's see, how do you how do you craft the planks? See, so, yeah, I need a wood plank. I have the stone axe luckily, so can't remember. Let me look at this. I uh, examine taken hands. I think you maybe have to use the larger logs, so I'm gonna have to actually cut down a tree. That's gonna take a little bit with the stone axe, but it's uh, manageable. Actually, not as long as it really would. Look at this thick tree. Imagine if it was this easy to cut down a tree. Okay. Now, let's see if we can cut this down into wood planks. Here we go. Now, I'm probably just going to carry a wood plank. Actually, I can go ahead and craft the uh, the wooden club right now and carry that with me. And then once I've, I... I've been able to find nails pretty easily so far, so we should be okay. Just got to make sure I grab it. All right, cool. We got a few tools on this. Now, I'll go... Uh, See, where'd that zombie go? I'll go fight this zombie so I can take his clothes as well and try to stay uh, as warm as possible. I do kind of like this biome, though. This uh, the snow makes it super easy to find, like, to spot things from a distance. This game looks really good. Like, if you're in the market for just, like, a new kind of different survival game, I definitely recommend it. All right. You still swing kind of slow, but not nearly as slow as... Uh, see, the only thing I don't like is you can't swing down. That's a little annoying. Okay, we got him. But I, I still feel like that was better than the spear. Oh, he's got some bolts on him. Uh, does he have a... I thought he had a coat. Well, he has sweatpants, so we'll go ahead and throw those on. Might as well take the hat, the gloves... Oh, actually, wait. He had military boots. That's nice. Uh, drop these crappy shoes. Cut these into rags for bandages. The ones we were wearing, because they'll be clean. Damn, I'm so bummed I died. I guess it happens. Alright, I'm going to stuff some, uh, some rags in my boots. My pocket... Uh, the bolts, I don't think I really need to carry those at the moment. Uh, I'll, I'll take these strips real quick, and, uh, the flannel shirt. I guess I'll just wear it, just to not have the bright-ass orange. And just go from there. I, I swear he was wearing a coat, wasn't he? Maybe he was just dirty and looked like he was wearing a coat. Alright, now. What did I just see move over there? Is that another zombie? Alright, so we saw a chicken earlier. Apparently there are animals in this game, so... Alright, whenever I get the chance, I need to maybe hunt some. But also, I think it might not be uh, necessary... Why did I do that? I don't need any of that stuff. Okay. Yeah, it might not be... Uh... Let me figure out where I'm going to go. So I'm fairly close. If I go east... Looks like there's a town there. Alright, so, um, there's west. Oh, I can actually see. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to head east and into this little area over here and see if I can find something. I need to actually, like, try to eat on the way, too. So I'm going to stop at the logs and little bushes and stuff and hopefully get that energy back up. I think as long as you have more, like, you're intaking more calories than you're burning, I think your energy will automatically go up. So I lost my stone knife. That's a bummer. 
And I also think at the, at the moment, the mushrooms are all edible. Hopefully. I mean, hopefully I don't get sick. So we're going to get a little bit of carbs from that, luckily. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there. The stomach volume's up pretty high, so I'm going to wait until that drops down again. We're still going to be under, probably, but it's okay. Yeah, I really like this biome. This is nice. It'd be cool to build a little little cabin somewhere in this area. So here's a road. That's a good sign. Uh, I'm just going to keep moving this way. I see some, some kind of structure over there. So main goal right now, I want to try to find some nails so I can uh, maybe increase the damage I do with this club. And definitely trying to find a vehicle. If I can find a vehicle, we can drastically increase the amount of storage we have. Basically just live out of that vehicle for the time being. And actually be able to loot the way you should loot, you know what I mean? Like right now, we're having to be very conservative with the amount of space we have. And so, I mean, I come across decent things and I have to, like, just leave them behind because I don't, I just can't carry them. I hear a zombie, or a, sorry, a puppet. Oh, there you are. Oh, God, I'm bleeding. Oh, you dead already? All right. Am I bleeding? I'm going to have to watch my health for a minute. All right, so it looks like we are very lucky, and we found a truck. Hell yeah, look at this. All right, so check this out. I haven't found one of these before, but look at this. Okay, yeah, ton of space, a ton of storage. So now we're doing great. I'm going to drop a couple bandages in here now and uh, loot up around here. Hopefully I can find some nails real quick or just anything good right now. Now we can actually store stuff. I still, I can't, uh, hopefully we find a bag soon, because I can't carry too much on me. So I'm gonna, uh, I don't know, I don't really know what the scraps are used for yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, keep some on me, because I assume, I think it's, like, stuff you can eventually use to maybe craft weapons and stuff. And you can't access the, uh, inventory for the vehicles inside the vehicle, so you have to actually, uh, you know, you have to actually stand next to it, which is... Not too bad. That that doesn't sound good. See a zombie creeping up over here. Alright, so what is this place? Just a mine shaft? Some kind of mining camp or something? Oh my god, there's like a knife and a bow. Let me take care of this zombie real quick. There we go. You got a coat for me. Nice. Got some uh, blue jeans here. A nice leather jacket. Now we got some more holding space. Oh, look at this knife. Dude, that's nice. Okay, we're taking that for sure. Uh, some high top shoes. Now we got boots. We're good. Cool. All right, we're doing a lot better now. I, I'm getting a little more familiar with the game, so I feel like I might do a little better from here on out. I don't know. We'll see. I think I can go ahead and eat some more. Alright, no zombie in here. That's good. Looks like there's a decent amount of stuff to loot, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Still looking for some nails. Uh, Empty bag. Oh, a small toolbox. I could probably take that in my hand. To fix mechanical breakdowns might be useful. Gunpowder? That? Oh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Take that in your hand. Yeah, pick that up. Okay. Please let us find some nails. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is for. Oh, I want to pick that up. That's cool. Oh, a pumpkin. Um, let's just like eat that whole pumpkin. Why not? Let's see what happens. Hopefully I'll shoot our carbs up really high. I don't think we're going to be able to eat this whole pumpkin. Alright, well we ate a ton of that. I'm probably going to actually come back and grab that. Because that's going to be probably pretty, 
pretty beneficial. Hopefully our carbs go up. That's like the hardest thing right now. Hey, we found some 22 ammo. It'll probably come in handy. I don't think a flare is a super necessary, but... You never know. What the hell was that? I swear, some of those zombie noises are like... Well, zombie. I say zombie. I keep meaning, like... I'm gonna say zombie because they seem like zombies and they, they are living dead technically, but they're uh, they're puppets. But some of them sound like just a person just making sounds. It's so weird. I love seeing all this space. All right, we're gonna drive a little bit and see if we can find anything good. I really like this truck a lot. I've seen the little SUVs. I hadn't really seen these before. So this is pretty dope. Oh. And the driving in this game is actually pretty good. I do not mind it at all. Any zombies in here? So far, so good. Another pumpkin. That's nice. Looks like it's clear. All right, cool. See if I can find anything. A little radio and some duct tape, okay. I still haven't found nails. It's kind of depressing. Lots of good stuff here. I found some uh, some ammo. A can opener, freaking brass knuckles, dude. I don't know what this place is, but I like it. You just hear a lot of creepy noises, but so far it's been all right. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where'd you come from? All right, let's figure out where we're gonna go from here. Cause I'm not, uh, I'm not digging this spot, honestly. It looks like the biggest city might be uh, over in the corner, like on the left, like the C3 up there. Uh, I don't know. I know there's like a military base here. I think there's the uh, airfield. There's probably other like pretty big and like legitimate or diff difficult like POIs. But uh, we'll we'll get to those. You know what I mean. I know there's gonna be some sneaking involved because there's those mechs that walk around a lot of those uh, bigger POIs that have the better loot, and they uh they kill you pretty quickly. So I don't know which way we should head. I guess just south maybe. Let's look one more time where we're at. I mean, we can just go west, like straight up west and get back on that road and maybe kind of hit stuff on the way. Actually, let's go north. So I actually need to turn around. Let's go north onto the main highway, the main road, and we'll uh, we'll just hit all the POIs on the main road, kind of see what's out there. I don't know what's going on with this car. It's being very weird. Oh, here we go. We got nails. Can we craft this damn thing? Yeah, here we go. Hell yeah. Make sure we pick that back up. Aw, oh, dude. I bet that does way more damage. Yep, sometimes in the bales of hay you can find some corn. Let's go ahead and just pick that up for now. Uh, pick that one up as well. I kind of want to, you know, we're going to drive towards that city and hopefully find a good spot to make our base. That way we can start kind of looking into hunting and cooking and stuff. Nice. We're getting some good, uh, 
Some good food for us. Oh, look at that. Some grapes, dude. This place is dope. Metal pipe. Oh, we got a place to rest here. Oh, we found a crowbar, dude? Okay. I don't care about the reindeer ears and whatnot, but we got a crowbar. That's cool. Oh, we got another little building over there. I think you actually have to have a, uh, a legitimate vehicle repair kit. So maybe that's what's wrong. Our, our vehicle needs to be, like, fully repaired. I'm just going to loot up this place real quick, and I think I'm going to call it there for now. But, you know, even though we died at a rough start, we have prevailed. And we're, uh, we're going to leave off better than we, uh, than we started. So that's, that's what matters. I actually almost just completely started over. But then I was like, you know what? Let me let me stick it out. Let me try to bounce back, you know. And I'm glad we did. We found this awesome truck. Look how cool this is. Oh, some money. I don't know if that has any real value right now. Well, cool. We found this little place we can camp out at. Nice little peaceful place. All right, that's going to conclude this episode. Let me know what you guys think. And uh you stayed if you stuck around for this uh i appreciate it thanks for being here and i'll see you on the next one